G'day farmers and welcome back to Riverview. Hope you're all doing well. So, today's episode, we're working for the council. We sh don't think we've got a lot we need to do. Let me just get this sent down. So, we are going to be working down in here. We'll see if I can get him to go down to there. Looking good. Off you go, all right. Oh, God. <laughs> Where are you going? Stay on the road. Right, so we've got to grab the feed. We'll put the log trailers on there and head down. But let's have a quick look at our animals and productions. Uh, cows, nine months old. So next month we'll see whether or not they'll make milk. See what happens. Chickens, jeez, 2,400 litres they've gone through. Ugh, we do have 180 at $25. Um, I am kind of tempted to sell them, but we might wait till next month because they will have babies. And sheep. Doing really good. Three more months and we'll be able to sell another 15. So, fantastic. Right. Uh, oh, productions. So, yeah, we do have our fabric. It is going well. I imagine there'll probably be a pallet or two sitting outside, so we'll go check that out later. Uh, tomatoes, they're still coming along. We do have to move the strawberries, but we'll look at that after. And yeah, salads. Lovely darts. Love it. So, like I said, we'll grow, get in the feed. Can we get in? Yep. Press the wrong button. We'll go grab the log trailers, head down, and yeah, start doing a bit of work. Like I said, all trees we chop down, we'll, we can sell. We keep the money. We've just got to put, put in the sell points. So maple syrup, market stall, and the shop. And we'll get to keep the rest. So we also have to do a bit of uh, landscaping and terraforming. Make it all look nice. But yeah, we should be able to maybe, depending on how much money we're left over, we might be able to get our hands on a new field, which should be good. If we can get a new one before March, then we'll be able to um, put in some more wheat. We can still plant in March. So yeah, give me a minute. I'll head down to the church area. I'll be able to show you down there and... Yeah, we'll be able to get to work lopping down some trees. Okay, we've nearly made it. We've got quite a few other productions around. There is also the carpenter nearby, so... I reckon I will try to sell some wood to him. I don't know how we'll go about actually getting the trailers in it, because it's not the biggest sort of area, and the trigger point is... Not... not in the best of places, let's just put it that way. <laughs> right, so what I'm thinking, I was going to keep a few of the trees, but I was thinking of maybe nearly getting rid of all of them. And we can always replant a few trees down here just to, during the landscaping part of it. Oh, only because I don't know, like, not everywhere is flat. You know, I want to try to put things down in the flattest spots possible. Because it will be a lot. You know, it does cost quite a bit to do a bit of terraforming. So let's just stop him there. And yeah, we can put down, like, maybe some hedging, a few bushes and whatnot. But yeah. So this is the area. Like I said, quite a bit of area. I might put the shop right up the back there even. And then we'll have a couple of the market stalls out near the front. Not 100% sure yet how we'll go about things, but we'll work it out. So what I'll do is I'll start up the front here. I'm just going to chop down quite a lot. Yeah, I'll chop them all down, cut them into bits. Then we can load up clear them all out, see what it's looking like. 
and then we'll go with there go from there <laughs> all right so yeah just give me a few minutes i'll get through this i won't have to bore you with all the tree chopping and then i'll come back as we're loading up all right so i haven't finished all the trees but we've got the majority of them down got quite a bit of area now there is still probably a few over in that back end there i'd take out and as you can see a lot of wood i've cut them all down to six meter lengths as well so <laughs> they're ready to be picked up did take a little while i will tell you that so i'll just bring the trailer up here a bit further And we can start filling this up. Well, actually, I'll leave it on, so... Seems to be if I leave it on, the trailers don't move around as much. Alright. Turn that on. Let's get down. Ah, should have uh, unstrapped it. Yep. Very good. Alright. Let's have some fun in our Bobcat. So yeah, we should be able to get through this relatively quickly. I'm hoping to have this all finished off by the end of today's episode anyway. That's the plan. Although, if you know me, just because i got a plan doesn't mean it's going to work. <laughs> we try. And I'm sure the council would really much like us to... No, this is not a good... Not a good view we had going there. Yeah, the council probably really wants us to be finished on today's episode too. The sooner we can get that done, the sooner we'll get a few more selling spots. Now, I know the store and the market stall, that will... We can pretty much sell anything there. So it's going to give a bit more competition to the sell points. Uh, maple syrup one, obviously, we're only going to be able to sell maple syrup to it. That, that's all right. Actually, I, I don't think we actually need to put it in because we can sell maple syrup at uh, the other ones we've put in, but... Nonetheless, we will. Right, so I'll get in. I'll fill up these two trailers and we'll come back in and go take a drive up to the carpenter. All righty. I think that'll do for our first load. Pretty full. Start struggling after a little while to get more in. Uh, let's restrap, restrap. Right. So, the carpenter isn't too far away, so let's go for a drive up there. The chair come along. Make another a load in a bit. Should clear out what we've already dropped. Oh dear. <laughs> It's a, a tight road to get in and out of, that's for sure. Right, so yeah, like I said, the carpenter's only up around here a bit further. I believe that there, is that the needle and stitch? So that's the tailor. That could be something worthwhile getting down the track, especially now that we make a fabric. But just in here is the carpenter. No, I'm not interested in doing timber. Uh, uh, furniture, sorry. <laughs> we'll sell the wood like this, but that's about it. Right, well, hopefully... We're in a good enough spot here. And we'll take from both trailers. We can hope. Oh, thing's in. Yeah, oh well. Nearly, we can't lift that one. Excellent. Thought it might have been a bit more money than that. Let's have a look at the prices. Uh, wood. Well, it's not too bad. Eating plant is the best, but a little while away from there. And I also think that we can only put so much wood in there. So I don't know how many more loads it will actually let us sell there, but it is what it is. All right. So I'll head back, do another load, I'll fill up both trailers again. Like I said, shh. Probably be a little bit more than one more load that's left there, so... Yeah, I'll get that filled up, 
then we can go sell that and should nearly be on let's say 50k yeah 50 55k all right so i'm hoping i can get this one more log on i think i've grossly underestimated how much i've cut down i've <laughs> still got a lot left to get so yeah this might take over two episodes was hoping to get it done in this one but yeah looking at the time looking at how we're going i'm not too sure that's going to happen right and yeah if the carpenter doesn't take too much more wood then we're gonna have to end up going down to the sawmill and and uh heating plant which is quite a long drive from here so that's another two loads or two or another load another two trailers got a couple of bumps around there too i might have to may have to do some terraforming there but it's all good the amount of trees we're getting no reason we can't afford to all right so yeah, it's quite a nice little area this one it's church cemetery like i said we've got the tailor there carpenters just up a bit more i think there's a little it's like a little supermarket here which i don't yeah we can't do anything with that supermarket that's just more of a looks good looks good <laughs> that's about it but yeah i really like that river down there too it's gonna be a nice area to drive and sell things in oh no what are we doing oh dear all right let's see if it'll take this I'm not 100 percent sure oh i didn't mean to do that yeah so see it's not going to take it all right so we do have a little bit more room i think what we should do is i'll go back um fill up the trailers a bit more let me just double check first make sure this wasn't that it was sitting funny oh yeah, it took a little bit more but yeah i don't think Let's turn around and have a look. I think it's just full now. A little bit closer here. Yeah. I have a feeling it's just full. Right, so... I'll go fill these back up won't get a lot on but you know may as well make the drive worth it and we'll have to go start selling to the heating plant and the um sawmill probably the heating plant that was the better price so i'll fill this up and i'll see you up at the heating plant all right we're coming into the sawmill slash heating plant area i should just call it wood processing area <laughs> yeah we're all we filled it back up still got easily another load for the trailers down there i uh, just don't know how we're going to go time wise we're going to get it all done or not we'll see how we go anyway never know might surprise myself well, let's get this in stop right what are you going to give us here Oh, decent. Decent. So, 66,000. Now, I know the sell points don't cost a great deal. Uh, it's going to be more the landscaping and all that that's going to cost the money. But like I said, we've got at least another load down there. Possibly two more full ones. Hmm. Because, yeah, there is some more trees I do want to cut down. But all right, I'll get back down there. I'll load back up these two trailers with what's there and then come back in. I, I'm thinking it might be... Yeah, we might have it all cleared up by then. Uh, there is a few more trees I do want to chop down, so... We may make one more run up to the sawmill to sell. 
but if we do have another load after that we might just hang on to it it's just so we can get the buildings and that down get what we need finished and you know if we need to sell it next month that's fine no problem so yeah i'll get back down load up and then i'll come back in Alrighty, so I got one more log left. We do still have a little bit more room in there, which is good. Because I do want to cut down a few more trees. I think we might actually get this done today. There will be another load of wood, but we won't get that sold, but that's fine. There's always the next episode. Price of wood really doesn't change that dramatically. Okay, so. Yeah, I was thinking we'll knock down a few more from here. We'll do that now. It's nice and flat up here. I think I might actually put the shop in this area. And the stalls. Honestly, the stalls don't take up much room. I just need enough room to be able to drive around them to, like, deliver the maple syrup and, you know, whatever else. As I said, there's going to be a lot more competition with the sell prices of products now, adding these. So if I do have to come down here, I just need to make sure I'm able to sell them down here. Or, you know, get to the trigger point. <laughs> right, so them two. We might do these two as well. We'll leave the ones that are close to the edge. Try to get them going the same way so they don't go on top of each other. Lovely. Oh. Deer running all over the trees. So yeah, they'll, they'll be fine. I will do want to take down this one. I just... Uh, there'll be no good way to drop this one. He's going to overlap, but... Ah, that's not too bad. Alright, so there's those four. I've got a nice area there now. Uh, yeah, I might just drop these couple here. So I was thinking, could have like one of the stores on this side. Jeez, what happened there? <laughs> it jumped right back at us. Let's clean her up. And we'll drop this one here as well. So what's that? We're already up to what, six trees? Oh, dear. I didn't do that one too well. I don't know. That's all right. So, yeah. That's looking mighty fine. Actually, I could probably put the shop there and a couple of stalls into here, maybe. Yeah, that could work. All right. I'll just get in. I'll cut them all down to the six metre lengths and then... Finish loading up what I can there. We'll take that up and uh, sell that load. Then when we come back, we'll just clean up the rest of the spot or space and we can pop in the buildings. Sounds good. So we're all filled back up. Back up to the wood production area, processing area, <laughs> sawmill area. <laughs> That's probably easier. So yeah, we'll seal this one up, then we can just go clear up what's left down there. I, not quite a load left down there, but I'm hoping I don't have to cut down any more trees. Just depends. Depends if I like how things are going to look. I can be quite particular. <laughs> All right. What are you going to give me for this? Nice. Nice. Seems to be around the... 20, 20, or between 20 and 22,000. So we're an 87. That's good. That'll be enough so we can put down the three cell points. 
I will do a bit of um, earthworks to begin with, a bit of terraforming, just to level things out and there's a couple of bumps that I do want to soften. Other than that though, we should be pretty good. So let's get back down there. I'll uh, quickly load up the last of the wood and then we'll get into putting in, I'm going to call it the, uh, well that, that little dirt road, we'll call it a jetty road. So the jetty road marketplace, I think it sounds good. So yeah, I'll go down there, load up the last of it to get it all cleaned up and then we'll get into constructing jetty road marketplace. Oh right. Oh, clean. I hope. Pretty sure. Yep. So we'll just move this out of the way a bit. There should be good for now. And we'll get this right out of the way. Let's just strap in our logs. Like I say, don't be a plog, strap your log. <laughs> right, move him over here. We are running out of light. Oh, uh, actually, we might move him right up the street. I do want to try to soften this bump here a bit. So we can have, like, an in-and-out road. Or maybe just one road and then have it, like, turn into a ring. We'll see. Right. So, yeah, let's deal with this bump here first. We're going to landscaping. Now, just have to remember, we will get a little bit more money. Uh, once we sell that wood that we got there. Right. Looking a bit better. Not quite so hilly there now. That's good. So what I'll do is I'll just smooth it out all over. Let's go to the biggest we can get. We can zoom out properly. Lovely darts. How does that look now? See, much better. A lot easier to deal with. Right. So, I was thinking up in here, if we can get the shop. If we go sell points. Now we want the shop here. Yep. So if we can have it like that, it should give us enough room to get around the back there with a bit of a road, I'd say. Yeah, it's looking good. Right, so we'll pop him in there, I think. Yep. Lovely. Now, we've got market stall and the maple syrup. Just make sure I get it around the right way. Which I think it is like that. So we can put him in there. Beautiful. Now, the market stall. Which is this one here. Not a big one. Uh, let me get a bit closer. Closer. I don't think it really matters which way around we go. Um, but where do we put this? Well, if we just go about here, I reckon. Or should we have it at the entrance? Ooh, tough one, tough one. <laughs> oh, I reckon we go around about here. I'll have it so that the... still points out the front of it there. Lovely. How are we looking? Very nice, very nice. So I do want to change it all to dirt, dirt roads and whatnot. How are we looking here? Yeah, see, I think it's done well. I might give it a bit of a sopping again around everywhere. Yep, 
Oh god. <laughs> Alright, very nice. Now comes the roads. So we want dirt. No, dirt. Let's go circle. Probably. Is that going to be too big? Feel like that'd be too big of a road. And that's too small, but we can always make it bigger. So I'm going to come in here. We can go around the back. We'll fix it up. Like make it a little bit wider. Okay, have it come around the side as well. Yeah, I'll just go along the edge there. It's... And out the front. We do want it all to be dirt. Have the dirt flow into here as well. Pretty sure the drop off point I made it out the front. Just increase this a bit. And we'll have it ring around. We are running out of light quickly. Okay, and then we'll have it to join up back to here. And that could be all right. Like I said, we'll just make this side a bit wider. And... Make that look a little bit cleaner. All right, could probably be a little bit wider there, eh? Very good. I think that will just about do. Okay. Um, trees. Let's put in a couple of oak trees. Lovely. What have we got here? Large birch. We'll put a couple of these in the outside. Beautiful plants. We just got lots of different sort of bushes. Them around the tree there, like so. Nice, nice, nice. I think that should be pretty good. Like I said, we're getting pretty dark now, so getting harder to see. Yeah. I think the community of uh, Riverview would be quite happy. Got the shop in, looking good. If only we had a, I don't think we got any like, ah, oh, decoration. Uh, light, that's probably would be handy. It's that path light, street lantern. Now yeah, let's put a couple of these up in here. Those around the path or around this middle island. Ah, uh, put one more in there. Lovely street lamp. Uh, might just put it down just along here a little bit.
Because it could be like a turning into a twilight market as well. Right. There, I think that looks quite good. I reckon the Riverview community would be quite happy with me. <laughs> Going above and beyond now. Did spend a little bit there, but that's all good. Like I said, we've got another load of wood there. What I was thinking is we'll sell that up on the next episode. And we may have enough to be able to buy another field. And then we can get that ready and then plant on it in March. Be quite good. All right. So, yeah, like I said, it's all dark now. We can't really see much. But that's all good. We've got it done. Done in one day. I'm happy. So I'll get everything taken back up to the farm. And probably call it a day there. Like I said, get into it next episode. Got a few good things we can do. And, yeah. So I reckon it's going to be a really good year. I mean, the wrong thing, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a really good year. Now that we're doing um, fabric, something to do with our wool, which I think next month we have to clean up the wool area. That'll be full again. And, yeah, we'll get another field, a couple of fields of wheat. Chickens will be happy. Yeah. I think it's going to be a really good year. All right, I'll get back up into the farm, and we'll call it a day. All right, guys, appreciate you coming along and having a watch. Thanks so much. Uh, just a quick reminder that I am now streaming every weekend on on here on YouTube. We're doing the Western Wild stream series, so, you know, don't be shy. Pop in, say good day, and, uh, yeah, check out that. Anyways, thanks again for coming. Really appreciate it. You're all legends. Be good to be good at it, and I'll see you again on the next episode. Cheers.